Hey guys, what up here and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Crew Mode Freeze 2633 Season 2 of this. We're going to Chicago and today last race was at Richmond. And believe it or not, I did not win that race. I know that's crazy to think and it may sound insane, but I assure you that's what happened. Spoiler alert. But Chicago Land is normally an easy track on this game, so this should be a kind of a, a cakewalk, so maybe my e my ego will need that, so we'll see if that, you know, comes to fruition, so Here's the settings, legend difficulty, 13% race length, same stuff as always. So, anyways, without further ado, I'm just going to head straight into qualifying, put in a default setup, and see where we start, which is probably be like somewhere in the mid-20s. Now turn four, we'll see what this lap time is. Pretty nearly flat-footing it around this track, and 24, so mid-20s like I was saying. But we're on the outside line, though, so that's never a good, fun time. But who got the pole? Okay, Suarez, all right. Let's just get into the race and uh, hope everything goes smoothly. Here we are, the race is about to begin, get ready. And the green flag's out, we're underway. How many laps do we even have in the first stage? 15 in the fuel. And how many laps in the stage? So, four laps, so a pretty quick one. We're already up to the outside, got by Chastain or somebody. And we're on the outside of Almirola, not the lane I want to be in, but I was just doing that just so I can get to off to a good start and be away from people, so want to get to the inside tiffed okay we got the draft and just pulled <laughs> good lord so we're on the preferred lane just gotta keep the car on the bottom get a good bite off turn four. Oh, almost nipped the net ryan reed just stops he, he's going home we're gonna dip down below here which is legal three more laps to go on the stage and we're almost gonna crack inside the top 10 already which is insane and disgusting all in the same sense. I think we bumped Ty Dillon, I think. Like, I, I don't know. No, I guess we did. I guess I guess we didn't. I don't forget. <laughs> Get by Harrison Rhodes. Gone. Hello. Get to the bottom of him, no problem. And off turn four. Cracked inside the top ten within two laps. Car is fast. So, that's good to see. Oh, good lord. Get to the inside of Sadler. Oh, to the inside of uh, Allgaier and Blake Cook. Good lord, this car it's just it's absolutely, absolutely disgusting. I don't know if they're gonna pit at the end of the stage or, or what. So I don't, I don't really know. So we'll just have to wait and see. But off turn four, already cracked inside top five, going for four, third, almost now for second. Good god. Oh my god, it's that's disgusting. Even on the straights, we just pulled on Suarez, and now we're gonna go for the lead on the white flag of the stage, and there we go. We get the lead. <laughs> God, God damn. Win stage one with no problem there. <laughs> man, oh man, 21st to 24th to first in like four laps. It's crazy. Let's see. Nobody's pitting. So we have 11 laps in the field, 22 remaining. Hmm. Might actually have to make a green flag pit stop during the final stage of the race, possibly. Well, nobody's pitting, so I'm just going to stay out, I guess. So, And everybody did the same thing, thankfully. We'll just... The only thing you have to worry now is just get out to a decent start, and we should be good to go from there. How many laps do we even have in this stage? I don't know. It might be four or five, possibly? Just have to wait and see. And, okay, it's five laps, so we're good to go on fuel. We're pulling away. I'll, I'll see you all at the end of stage two. We'll win stage two with no problem, like three and a half second lead over Allgaier. Um, yeah, this track's way too easy. I don't, I don't even know what more to say. It's just way too easy. So we'll see what they pit here. I'm going to take two tires. Yeah, we're not going to make enough fuel. So we're going to put in we're gonna put in a full tank. I want to go with four tires, but I don't want to waste more time on pit road. So that's, that's the strategy we're doing. I'm hoping this is the right idea so people in the comments don't get mad at me. So that's what we're going to go with. And we lost 19 spots. And actually, we're the first person that... We actually got the spot we did, but somehow, I guess other people stayed out. Maybe they pitted? I, I don't know. They're not going to make it on field to the end, so. Some crazy stage, stage strategy. Ooh. But because there's so many slow cars up here, even though we took two tires, this gives us a, just a disgusting buffer from everybody. As we already went from 19th to 14th before we even got into turn one. And here we go off turn two. I'm going to crack inside the top ten. <laughs> Oh my god. So 15 in the field, 12 or so laps in the race. So we're good to go to the end. Just want to get to the lead and just kind of haul ass. So, yeah. 
I don't know. Well, this is just... Uh, <laughs> even if it was a green-white checker, even if I started, like, freaking mid-pack, I would still damn near win the freaking race. I don't know. But now we have a, such a... Just a disgusting buffer from... Whoever was the last person that who pitted beside me, whoever was, like, 20th or something, so... That's... <laughs> That's going to be a good help. Even if the tires fall off a little bit more and our pace drops a bit, that just gives us a big buffer, so... Yeah, well, no, that wasn't even really much of a challenge, but it was cute. They tried, but it didn't work, so... Bye, everybody. Yeah, they're pitting now. Yeah, I fucking figure. As soon as, as, soon as they try to pit, they're all going to wreck themselves, so what a bunch of jackasses. So, we're... I guess somehow Sadler was ahead of all of them before that happened, so I guess he is our legitimate competition. As well as Reddick, um, Blake Cook, Brandon Jones. Um, I mean, whoa, wait. Okay, some of them are staying out. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know, that was weird. I, did they guys were making, they were like, no, nah, we're not going to pit. Then some people pitted, so I, I don't know what happened there, but... Let's just get this thing back going. Hopefully we have enough, you know, grip in the tires to kind of keep this lead. Because definitely have the fastest car by far, but let's have to wait and see. So we got to a good start like always. Just see what we can do on the back straightaway and see if anything changes. And uh, I guess not. So, I guess I was worrying all for nothing then. <sighs> I, I figured, you know. I mean, we even we did not cross the white flag, so it's not 100% bullshit. But still, David Hoots is trying to screw me over, like, like every week, every, almost every week. Like I you noticed at Richmond when a caution didn't freaking come out, and I was not leading. Well, that's why, because I was not leading. It's, it's all a conspiracy. Nobody's pitting. I, I still have to stay out. If I pit, I'm gonna lose way too much spots. I'm not gonna be able to gain all that. So, staying out. I think the car is good to go to the end. Uh, I think on grip, so I'm, I'm hoping so, because if we lose this race because of that, it's not really bullshit, but it happens so many times in this in this game that it's just, it's all a big, freaking, big whopping conspiracy, but we actually got to a good start like we always do. See what uh, happens on the back stretch, because that's whenever it seems like the AI jars kick their, their, their car into gear and then they start gaining more speed, so. Uh, well, I guess so. we're still pulling away, so. That's nice. It would be nice just to have a, a good old race where it just plays out and, you know, I just absolutely destroy the field. Nothing ha it saves me time from editing and saves time rendering, but I'm sure it's not as entertaining. So, you know, that there is a trade-off. And you know what? I want you guys to be entertained. So, David Hoots, maybe he's not all that bad. Maybe he's having a character arc late in this season, season in the Xfinity series. Uh, white flag, obviously. One second lead from Ryan Reed. Ross Chastain fourth, so really good front for him. Our left sides, yeah, 46%. This kept going, or there was, like, so many more, like, just dumb white flag yellows or whatever. Then, yeah, our tires would have been burnt, and I don't think we would have had a chance to hold them off. But, off four, onto the trial thing, and we'll win the race pretty uh, easily. But, they, he tried. He, you, he tried. God, I just, just, just never, he just, he's so damn persistent. But that was our 18th win of the, the season. Broke Xfinity season records and, and everything, and we almost have as much wins as, pff, I don't even know, like, I don't even know what comparison to even use. So Reed's second, Hemrick ninth, see who uh, was in the back, whoever wrecked possibly, or I don't even know. William Byron 21st, I saw. J.J. Illy had some issues, so. There you go. There's your results. Let's look at our earnings, because I'm sure people care about that. So, we just cracked over 8 million, so that's nice. And, yeah, we have over 100 playoff points, and everybody else is like 90 points or so back from me on just playoff points alone going to the chase. Good lord. I would have never thought I would have made the playoffs. I just, I would have never guessed. So, now we got the the green thing and Xfinity Series playoff driver. How does that sound when it first? Daryl Wallace, I, I got, I was I was in the, the playoffs as soon as I won Daytona. And now, months later, in September, you then tell me. I, I don't know if you just don't remember, but it, this isn't anything new. Okay, Daryl? Just, just saying. I love you, but that, 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 that
you already know. So we got the first chase race, and it's at Kentucky. We won at Kentucky earlier in the season, so we'll see if that happens again. Uh, we got such a big lead on everyone. Uh, yeah, we have a 113 point lead. I think I forgot that we have like the uh, extra points from winning the regular season. So we have now literally really over a hundred points on on Allgaier. So we we have technically a one race buffer, nearly two. That's crazy. So yeah, that's that's uh that's that's crazy. So yeah. Anyways, what am I doing? Game? Okay, that was my fault. Anyways, that's it for this video. Really nothing much more to go into. Next race will be at Kentucky. You'll see what that ha what happens there. So, thanks for watching. Like I always say, I do appreciate love, feedback, and support. All you guys give me in the comment section below. And as well as liking the video because it does help me a lot in the long run. Also, big shout out to my Tier 3 Patreon supporters. Dale Reynolds, Braden Hills, Scott Browning, Mark Kohler, Roland Hoffer, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, and Ronnie Lazarin for their donation. Again, I can't say enough how much I appreciate you guys. It does mean so freaking much to me. And it's it's so it's so nice of you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen at Kentucky. Sometimes and I I think it's like difficult sometimes, but, but then other times it's really easy. Like look at the cup race, that was pretty easy. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. But irregardless, we got a big cushion. So even if we do not win, we we have a safe bet for Homestead. I'm just I'm just I'm just having a good feeling about it. So I'll see you all next video. I'll see you all later. And as always. Have a good day, everyone.